Did you get any sleep last night? No, not much, but uh, everyone's still with us, so I'm not complaining. Is that Cole's workup? Yeah. I heard Nora was looking to press charges against him. She asked for the tax reports. So then it's true, Cole was full of drugs last night. You know I can't tell you that. I'm sorry, it's just, he was my student. I mean, what would possess him to get behind the wheel of a car while he was on drugs? Well, I'm just happy nobody was killed in that accident. Yeah, me too. Things like this, they put your own problems into perspective, don't they? Yes, indeed. I gotta go. Mm. I got a full house. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Okay. Bye, Mike. Bye. Oh, Michael, you forgot. You forgot your breakfast. I don't believe that you're authorized to look at that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's just that there's wrong information in that chart. It says that the patient called Thornhart is RH negative, which is impossible. This blood work was done very carefully. There's no mistake. No, you don't understand. Cole has to be RH positive. I and mean, that's why Hope died. I've been thinking about what Jessica was doing the night Chloe was born. I even called Dr. Joplin's old office to find out if there was any record of Jessica visiting Dr. Joplin in that 45-minute mm -hmm. time span between 9.12 and 10 p.m. when she was here. And? They gave me nothing. Here's what I think happened. Tess got worried that something was wrong with the baby. She freaked. Out comes Bess to the rescue, right? She's the, the rational one, the, um, the gatekeeper. So Bess brings the baby to the hospital, gets her checked out, and when she's satisfied that Chloe's okay, she hightails it back to the cottage, turns back into Jess, problem solved. No one's the wiser. Yeah, but if that happened, I mean, why was Chloe still in Tess's sweater? Why wasn't she swaddled like they did in the hospital nursery? You got me. And why even go back to the cottage at all? I mean, my God, Tess just gave birth. Her and Chloe both needed to be in the hospital. What if whatever she thought was wrong with the baby went away? Like, you know, Chloe seems fine, so she turns around and goes back to where she knows Tess or Jess will feel safe and close to Nash, the cottage. Look, the point is, even if Chloe seemed sick when Bess brought her to the hospital, Bess left with a perfectly healthy baby. It's just a whole boatload of questions that aren't answered. But do we really want to know the answers? Is this your way of getting back at Jess? At first, yeah, I mean, I was, I was so angry at her for what she put us through. No, I just, I wanted to punish her, you know, prove that she was an unfit mother. But Jared, after what Rex and I found out from those hospital surveillance videos, Jessica was never and could never be a bad mother. I mean, as sick as she was, she saw that her baby was in trouble and, and, and brought her to the hospital to get her help. So what are you going to do with what you know? I guess I'm going to tell Jessica what we found out, you know? Maybe it'll help fill in some blanks. Marcy. Oh, hi. What, are you okay? Um, I'm, I'm looking for Michael. Have you seen him anywhere in the hospital? Anywhere? Not in a while. Did something happen? No, I don't know. I, I don't understand what happened to my baby. How are things with you and your sister? Oh, you know, um, two steps forward, one step back. But, uh, you know, I feel like we're healing. And, uh, <laughs> hey, I even asked her to watch Chloe when I came here to visit you. And you and Chloe? Uh, when I told you before that I didn't feel like Chloe's mother, I, it was just because I didn't get to act like her mother for so long, you know. That baby and I are bonding more and more each day. Good for you. Yeah. You know, and I, I don't feel threatened anymore that Natalie will somehow replace me in my kids' lives. I, you know, when Chloe looks at me, I know she knows who her real mother is. We were told that Star's baby died from RH disease. It happens sometimes when the mother's blood and the baby's blood aren't compatible. Right. Well, and the only way that that could happen is if the mother's blood and the father's blood have different RH factors and Star's blood is RH negative. Yeah. So Cole's positive. Well, that's what we thought. I mean, the doctors told us what the autopsy report said, but we just accepted it if we didn't pursue it. And now? 
I just saw Paul's medical records. It says that he is RH negative, the same as Star. Could there be some sort of mistake? No. Apparently, Cole's blood was tested over and over again because of this drug issue. But not only I remember Michael saying that RH disease rarely happens in first babies. Dr. Joplin agreed with him. She said that it was very unusual, that it almost always affects women who have already had children, often not until the third pregnancy. And all the mom has to do to protect the baby is have shots when she's like 28 weeks pregnant. But Dr. Joplin didn't think that Star needed any shots because she had never had a baby. And what I don't understand is if Hope didn't die from RH disease, then what did she die from? I just, I just want to know what happened to my baby. That's all I want to know. And I'm so sorry. God, I'm sorry. I know that you're upset, but even if they were wrong about the cause of death, every second of her short life is seared into my brain, Natalie. I remember every moment from the moment she was born, 7.58 p.m. until the moment they told us that she was dead. It was just a little over an hour later. I can still hear her screaming her little head off in the birthing room. And then suddenly they just, they whisked her away because they said something was wrong, but then Dr. Chaplin came back in and she said everything was fine, that Hope was fine. She was this beautiful, healthy little baby girl. And then, and then they told us that she was gone. It was the same night this beautiful little girl came into the world, I remember. I remember seeing Chloe in the hospital that night because Vicky came in, she brought her into the hospital. I only saw Hope one more time that night in Dr. Chaplin's office. Dr. Joplin's office. Yeah. Dr. Joplin brought me in there to say goodbye to Hope. Oh, God, it was one of the hardest things that I have ever had to do in my life. You know, I couldn't believe it because only an hour earlier I was welcoming this beautiful baby girl into, into this world. And then the next thing I was sitting in that office having to say goodbye to her. I mean, what could have happened in an hour? An hour! Are you sure you were in Dr. Joplin's office? Yes. Natalie, like I said, I remember everything. And Hope was alive for a little over an hour. Yeah, the time is on her death certificate. Well, I'm, why are you asking? It's just that all of this is so sad. And you, you must have been going through hell. Well, I didn't go through it alone. Star and I, we went through it together, you know? <laughs> we shared the same joy. And then we shared that. Horrible feeling when they when they rushed home off, you know. Where did they say they were taking her? Oh, they took her to the NICU. You know, if they had a record of her being there, then we actually might be able to figure out what she really died from, which certainly wasn't RH disease. There wasn't any record of Star's baby being in the um Neonatal ICU? No. I mean, everything happened so fast, I guess no one had a chance to officially admit her or start a chart. How am I gonna tell Star? I mean, with everything she's going through, it's bad enough she already blames herself because her blood was incompatible with her babies. Even now, Natalie, she wears this lock of her baby's hair in a locket around her neck every day. But she never takes it off. Oh, excuse me. I'm not going to freak out on you like I did before. I'm very sorry that I did that. I know you were just doing your job. I just need to let my mom know that I'm not abandoning her. Can you please just tell her that I've been here the whole time? I know she might not be able to hear, but I need her to know that I'm here for her. Mothers have a sixth sense when their children are near. So Bess took her baby to Dr. Joplin's office at the same time Star's baby was there. I think I know what Bess was doing at the hospital that night. <laughs> 